A hearing began today for the Marine Corps officer who was in command when an amphibious assault vehicle sank off our coast in July 2020, a training exercise that left nine service members dead. News 8's Brian White was at Camp Pendleton today for the proceedings. I'm here outside the main gate at Camp Pendleton. Now cameras were not allowed inside the courtroom, but what this was was a board of inquiry with a three person panel to determine whether this commanding officer should be retained or recommended for discharge. We've gone through many ups and downs. Uh, it's a roller coaster of emotions. Carlos Baltiera lost his 18 year old son, Brian, who drowned along with eight other service members when their amphibious assault vehicle sank off the coast of San Clemente Island during a training exercise a year and a half ago. He remembers hearing the news. I saw these ver three very well dressed military people come down the sidewalk and I never thought that they were going to stop at my house. A hearing began Tuesday for Marine Lieutenant Colonel Michael Regner, the former commanding officer of the battalion landing team. An investigation uncovered a number of failures that led up to the tragedy, including vehicle maintenance issues and a delayed evacuation when the AAV began taking on water. What happened to the boys is a result of the equipment that that should not even been utilized. During opening statements, the government outlined their case against Lieutenant Colonel Regner, saying that his leadership set the conditions for the accident to happen, that the battalion was not properly swim qualified with the necessary training to exit a submerged vehicle. Counsel for Lieutenant Colonel Regner said that he takes responsibility for what happened, but does not believe there is a legal basis for his discharge. I know Regner, he, he's kind of, kind of being the, the fall guy. People below him, and people above him knew about this. Marine Lieutenant Colonel Regner has served for 19 and a half years and is eligible for retirement in July of this year. This panel will ultimately decide whether any disciplinary action will be recommended. As things move forward, and uh, I, I hope that um, they do the right thing. This hearing is scheduled to reconvene Wednesday afternoon after this panel has had a chance to review the evidence.